COVID-19 has strained our health care system and created enormous stress for the heroic workers who are in harm's way caring for the gravely ill. It's very stressful. On a scale of one through 10, a 10. Not only am I worried about my family, I'm worried about the people that I work for and work with as well. Sheena Chalupa works in housekeeping at a hospital in Northwest Indiana. Safety is always top of mind. I think about the dangers nonstop. When I come home, I'm trying to figure out, okay, am I doing everything correctly before I step into my house? Because I have younger kids. Sheena's friend and mentor, Monty Clayton, has seen Sheena's anguish. Sheena was experiencing so much death around her at the hospital, so she would call me. The first call I got, I didn't know what was going on because basically it was like sobs and screaming. Still, Sheena has overcome searing heartache in her young life. When she was a baby, her biological mother dropped off Sheena at a friend's home and never came back. Sheena bounced from foster home to foster home. Finally, she was adopted, but her adoptive mother was abusive. Thinking she had another home, another mother, you know, and it all went wrong. It went wrong in a lot of ways. Punishments, you know, cruelty, and just not the mothering figure that she thought she would have. She, um, attacked me in, a, in her car, and I didn't know where to go. I didn't know how to escape that, and so I tried jumping out the car. Sheena saw only one way out. And so I said, you know what? You don't care about me. I'm gonna end this right here. I'm gonna kill myself. And she told me in so many words, she didn't care. And so she didn't believe me. And so I saw these pills that, that was in the bathroom, and I remember pulling up to my head, taking them all. After that suicide attempt, she spent months in the hospital, recalling goals many of us take for granted. I want to make it past 13. I want to make it past 16. I want to make it past 18, because back then, if you would have asked me if I saw, where I saw myself, dead. A hospital therapist recommended the Mercy Home for Boys and Girls. She comes over time to realize her own self-importance and who it is that really loves her, who it is that she belongs to. And that's Mercy Home for Boys and Girls where she really found a home and the opportunity to be Sheena. It is the story of thousands of young people since 1887. Here at Mercy Home, they find a real family full of support and love 365 days a year. And I was like, you know what? I, this is home. I said, I'm ready. Today, Sheena is married with children of her own. Like many during the pandemic, she had her hours cut at work. One day, there was a surprise delivery. Bags of food outside her home, courtesy of the Mercy Home for Boys and Girls. After all, that's what families do for their loved ones. After all these years, they still remind me on so many different levels that even though you are not living in Mercy Home now, but you still have a place to call home. From a painful childhood to a life of service, thanks to you, Mercy Homes' generous benefactors. All of you, all of our donors out there, without you, the work of Mercy Home, God's work, simply wouldn't be done. You know, I always wanted to um, find my purpose. I always wanted to give back somehow, to help people the way I've been helped, whether it's by conversation, by funding or just a simple hello. We all are doing our part to make the world a better place. She acknowledges that kindness does exist, even within herself. 
even after going through a traumatizing childhood where there was no kindness, she has become that opposite person. So triumph is hers.